Hi friends, welcome to this week's video where I decided to finally finish some pending DIY projects. Since I moved to a new house, I had some things that I hadn't done yet and I really want to decorate my house to fit my preferences. So first thing I'm doing is painting this small chocolate box, which will be sitting on my bedside table with small things such as a chapstick, a hand cream and stuff like that. So I painted it black and left the sides cold as they were. I painted the inside too black and then I went with a geometric shape in order to frame my design. And as for my design I went with a pretty eye that I found on Pinterest. I really enjoy painting eyes for some reason. So I was inspired by this tape to actually go with a color scheme of pinks and burgundies and reds and purples and things like that. So I started by sketching my design with a white acrylic paint marker. And then I went straight into painting the main colors. I started by defining the shapes, the lights, the darks, all the values. So then I could eventually go into some detail and make this look as realistic as my skills permit. Well, what you can see here in a few seconds or minutes, it's actually been taking me maybe one hour or something like that. It did take me a lot longer than I expected. But this has been overall really fun, I really enjoy painting, so I cannot wait to get to some other projects that, that include uh, painting. And... Yeah, overall I'm glad that I can still do it after I've taken quite a long break from painting with acrylics. So here I was already adding some details. I was using some really really tiny brushes, but I think I need to get myself some smaller ones for such detail. Now here I decided to fill in the shape with a purple to match the rest of the eye. And eventually I also decided to add an eyebrow because it looked way too weird without it. So I'm pretty happy with the result, it's nice and shiny and glossy, I did a varnish to it to last a bit longer. I think it turned out pretty great. It will look really nice on my uh, nightstand with all my things, instead of having them all over the place looking unorganized. Next thing I tackled was something that was on my desk and it was this jar in which I keep my brushes when not using them and which I also use for my paint water. And I also had this bottle which was from some mead I drank a while ago and I really like it because it's ceramic and I think it would look great as a decorative vase. So I went ahead and soaked both bottles in hot water to melt a bit of the glue and then I scraped and scraped and scraped and scraped and scraped some more. It was really tough to get that glue out so I struggled with those labels for maybe half an hour to an hour, honestly. But then after they were dried, I uh, started painting them. Started with the mead bottle and initially I wanted to add just a gold rim as an accent, but then I went uh, to add some drips. I wasn't really happy with them, but at least they're not very visible. 
Then I took apart this frame because it was white and I don't like how it looks. All my frames at the moment are black or natural wood color. So I took everything apart and together with the paintbrush jar I went outside and started spray pa painting them. As you can see I was struggling with my <laughs> black paint because it was about to be finished. But I managed to do the job. And then I let them to dry. Now it was time to assemble another frame that I recently bought from the thrift shop and I also painted and it was waiting for some new art. So I pulled out all my original artworks and took a look through them in order to pick something that could fit my home. So I looked in this folder, which honestly I'm really proud of myself for thinking of organizing everything like this. So I looked through this folder and managed to pick the home is where the heart is artwork and well I framed it. Yes I know the frame doesn't look great in the back but hey it's not visible. So that's it. I think it looks great now. Another artwork that I wanted to deal with was this one, this original painting which was done on a cardboard canvas. So it doesn't have any way of hanging it up so I bought these things which should actually be nailed into the canvas, but, well, this is too thin to do so, so I'm gluing them on. I found the center, or as center as I could, and I marked it, and I started adding some glue to the back of the canvas, and of course did my best to glue that thing in place. And it holds well. This next project I was very excited to do. I bought this really pretty succulent and I had this skull container from Kenji, which opens and would be just perfect for this succulent. I wanted to be able to hang it, so I took some measurements with some uh, masking tape to see where I should uh, drill the holes in it. And then I drilled the holes. Honestly, it was my first time using a drill. Not a fun experience, but it worked. I managed to do it. And then I uh, took some O-rings, opened them up. Did struggle a lot to do that, in fact. It, they were really tough to, to work with. Put them through the skull. And I tried to attach my silver chain, but so that it was too small and the rings wouldn't fit through it, so I went ahead and got myself a few links from a gold chain and linked those through the chain and through the rings. And that went well. I linked all the three chains on all the three rings and then I made sure that they were well balanced and added another link to connect all of them and another large ring. After that I added another long chain to have them hanging lower than they were hanging and that was pretty much it. It was done. Ready to go to filling it with the new soil and the plant. On the bottom of this I added a few rocks to help with the drainage of uh, the um, succulent. Then I um, removed the old soil from this plant and added it in fresh new proper soil. I am really really excited with how this turned out, I love it so much. My last DIY for this week were these two antlers, which were nice but I wanted to paint them in a color that fits my house better. They are just some basic plaster antlers, so I gave them a good thick coat of gesso to make sure that my colors will adhere good to them. And I started mixing my colors, which was a pain. Because I only have the three primary colors, white and black, so mixing it, oof, it was tough. 
Eventually I managed to get the right color and started painting them, gave them I think two coats of the base color and waited for them to dry. Afterwards I moved on and started mixing my second color and once again trying to mix a darker color and to be warm enough and brown enough and whatever enough I wanted it to be took a long, long time. But the result was satisfying so I regret nothing. Now I took a fluffy brush and dipped it just in a tiny bit of paint but then removed most of it so it has only, only just the slightest hint of color left on it. This way I can make sure to only color on the protrusions of these um, antlers, so, so it would give them more depth. As you can see it worked really really well and I'm, and I'm happy with the result. So now let's look at some pretty shots with everything done and put in their new places. Hope you enjoyed watching me create all of these and maybe I gave you some ideas on how to improve your house. And of course, as usual, until next week, stay spooky.